Hey friends, welcome back. So in this uh, video, we're going to focus on handling transactions in the ESA database. So what is a transaction? Uh, and the word transaction is not just used in the ESA database, but generally in the database world. A transaction is just a set of operations or a set of statements that are executed as a unit together. Okay, so let me give an example. Let's take a scenario of, um, a mobile banking app. There's a client who wants to, or there's someone who wants to actually send money to their friend. So in such a situation, there are two oper. It's a transaction. Naturally, when we say it in the real world, we say we are performing a transaction. But in real sense, it is a transaction, even in the database world, meaning it will involve more than one operation. So in our case, uh, it will involve uh, money coming out of the wallet of this person who is sending and money going into the wallet of the friends, going into the friend's wallet. So those are two operations that will be happening behind the scenes, and that's a transaction. So in our case, we're going to, the best uh, use case that I found that will make sense in our, in our project will be, if I could go to the app structure and show you. Uh, in our case, what I found to make sense in explaining on how to handle transactions will be creating a function or creating a button a call to action that will allow us to clear all routines that we have created and maybe start from afresh. So you see, when you clear all routines, there, there'll be multiple operations that are happening where routines will be deleted. Uh, each routine will be deleted, which is each and each each of that execution is represented as a statement. So there are multiple statements that are being executed within one process, which is the process of just clearing all. So I found that uh, to be efficient in our use case uh, in this uh, tutorial. So we're just going to create a button here that's that we call, that we allow user to clear all the routines at the point where maybe you just want to clear all and start new routines for the, for the next week. Uh, and you'll find that each routine will be deleted. And those are different operations that are going to be performed in one unit, in one process. So that's our transaction, all right? So now let's go back to our project and start. So according to, since from where I have shown where the call to action will be, we'll still be working on the main.dat file. So we're going to create add an, an elevated button at the bottom of the screen. So let's go to our main page. Okay, it is in the scaffold. There's a property called bottom navigation bar. And that's what we're going to use. Uh, so we come here and say bottom navigation bar is equals to an elevated button. that has to unpressed and also has a child, which we'll call clear all. So right now it won't look as presentable. Uh, let's just play around with some aesthetics. Uh, for example, we'll set it, give it a height of 50. Sized box. Right. Then we give it a padding. So we can look at how it, the design looks now. Okay. 
So as you can see, we have our button clear all. So now let's put a let's put a function on the on pressed um, property of the button so that we can now perform handling transactions in the ESA database. So back to the project. create a function called clear all. Oops. And then pick this and pass it over here. Now let's go back to the function and now use play around with it. So the first things first, we need to get call the routine collection by as per usual routine collection is equals to widget dot dot routines then after that we're going to get all the routines that are there is equals to, we need an await processor. So let's add a sync, await routine collection dot where dot find all. Great. Now the next thing we want to do is perform the write transaction function for the ESA database, which is usually await widget dot ESA dot dot right turn exactly. And then we say a sync. Then inside here, we're going to do a for loop where we want uh, each routine to be deleted. So that's a way of actually showing how, uh, showing a set of operation, set of statement. Each, each statement will be executed within uh, that for loop by going through each routine and then deleting it, each routine and then deleting it. So that's just a way of showing how to handle how to handle transactions in the ESA database. The best use case for this scenario. So we'll come in and say for var routine and get routines. So we're getting each routine. So for each, delete it from the routine collection. So a transaction constitutes a set of statements. This, has, this is a statement will constitute, if we have five routines, it will involve a set of five operations being performed here right now. So basically that's how you do it. And then we can set state just to a way of refreshing the page without any functionality inside it to see if it actually, it's going to refresh the page itself. Um, so basically that's that. Let's try and see it on the, so here we are clear all. So let's try and clear and see. So when you click on clear, as you can see, all our routines have been deleted. And you find that each routine was being deleted as it was being considered as an operation on its own as an individual. But the whole process that's being done, that's be, being performed is a transaction. All right. So there's some small, uh, basically we had done with handling trans how to handle transactions. Transactions is just basically a set of multiple statements that you have to perform as a unit. So we have been able to show a use case of that. Um, let's just make a small aesthetic where at least when we click on clear all, right now it's clearing as simple, but I think this is enough, this is enough. So let's try and create a few routines again and just see it perform. Uh, so home washing. We'll do this quite fast. Uh, add schoolwork 
assign our emails just to see how it's because it happens quite fast so it's good to which is a good thing i remember that is a database has the atomicity complete it's atomic it's a, it's compliant in terms of um uh that it it is that it it has that feature of atomicity in that if a trans if one of the statements fail that transaction will not be executed only when all the statements have gone through is a transaction successful so in our case where we we had a use case where there's a person who's sending money to a friend if they're removing money from their wallet goes successful but uh, sending money, adding money to the friend's wallet is not successful, the transaction will fail. It will revert back. So the user will be returned to the money and the transaction will be considered as a fail. So that's a power, that's a power that also ESA has. So let's try and clear again and see. As you can see, it has cleared. So we're done with uh, understanding the how to handle uh, transaction in the ESA database. In the next one, we're going to be discussing on the last thing actually. The, there's a feature that ESA has that's called watchers, and we're going to see how to create watchers in our project. So, other, see you on the next video.